gonna throw you down, throw you down right into the ground. Oh, Shaitan, I'm gonna throw you down. Introducing Yalla, a new digital platform that offers easy, accessible, and affordable travel solutions for Muslim pilgrims. Stand a chance to win a free Umrah trip with a minimum deposit of 100,000 naira in your Yalla wallet. What are you waiting for? Get started today by visiting yalla.ng or download the Yalla mobile app on the Google Play Store. Yalla. Hajj and Umrah, the easy way. That's what Allah says in the Quran. In Allah, you don't feel how in Ladina Amanu, the Surah to Hajj, verse 38, that Allah will always protect those people that believe in Him. And also, Anal Iman, Wal Amal Salih. Allezi uwa fari'un yujihu au yusmir ala ayati tajjiba. If you believe in Allah, it will bring for you, it will protect you and bring a good life for you. You will experience a good life. Allah said in the main verse of the Quran that anybody that believes in Allah and walk righteously, unsa, zakar wa unsa, whether male or female, will give him what? A good life. Ayatan tajjiba. We experience ayat of Tajiba. So that is why this issue of Iman, we should not play with it as a Muslim because it's one of the fundamental principles of our life. It was to give us a good life. It was to make us to experience good life. It was to give us succor, comfort, and solace. Without it, our life will be meaningless. This Iman, without it, our life will be meaningless. And also, Anybody that has faith, Allah will guide him to the right path. And not only that, Allah will guide him to the true knowledge and Allah will give him to walk towards the truth knowledge. Or sorry, towards this true knowledge. Allah will guide him to that. So that is one of the Allah says in our Quran, in the Amanu. وَعَمِلُ الصَّالِحَاتِ يَعْدِيهِمْ رَبُّهُمْ إِلَىٰ سِرَاتِ الْمُسْتَكِيمِ Our salah يَعْدِيهِمْ رَبُّهُمْ بِإِيمَانِهِمْ That is, Allah will guide them with their iman. Anybody that believes in Allah and, and work righteously, Allah will do what? Allah will guide him with his iman. That is, iman will guide people to righteousness. Iman will guide people to the straight path. That is one of the ways of iman. Having said all this, what are the things that will now give us that beauty? I've said it in that hadith. Number one is Ubullah. Wa Rasulu. You must love Allah and His Prophet. That is very, very important. Then they should be dearer to you than any other thing else. Today, we give priority to human beings than Allah, ordinary human beings than Allah and His Prophet. When Allah says something, you say, I will think about it. But when people on the surface of the earth, ordinary human beings like us, say something, we will not think about it. We follow it immediately. That, thing, that means you are following them, you prefer them to Allah. And Allah said, the Prophet said, There is no following of fellow human beings or emulating fellow human beings in disobedience to Allah. Except if that human being is guiding you, is giving you admonition, and you follow it. And that admonition will not come from anybody except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you do all this, we are going to see that's return of that. Another one is Ubul Iman. If Ubul Isan, the Adil Allah. You love fellow human beings because of Allah. That's number two. And lastly, is al bugudu and al kufru It's for you to hate Kufru. That is, you should never love Kufru or Jaliyah or ignorance. If you do all this, Allah is going to guide us to the right path. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Give us iman and prefer our soul. Allah ma'atil nufusan taqwa wa dakiya anta khayru man zakaha anta waliya wa maulaha. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
Ramadan to me is a month of rest, so to speak. I say that because it is in this month I tend to take a break from the noisiness of the world, from the busyness of the world, so to speak. So I focus more on my on my dean and my relationship with Allah. So Ramadan is the month where I I recharge and boost my iman, so to speak, by doing things I normally wouldn't. I don't have a red combo. And finally, I wish to, I wish you all a splendid and fruitful Ramadan. I know Barak. Welcome to Labaraka 2. My name is Abdul Hadi Faiz and I am on the Big IQ show. Um, because it's one of the um, involuntary fasts, Monday and Thursday, it's very beneficial. The Prophet Sallallahu prescribed it. I'm Suratul Kaf. Uh, because Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is only a prophet and Allah is the um, Supreme God, He created Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Z-I-A-A-F Why do I fast? Um, to, of course, to obey the commandment of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Um, of course, Ramadan means so much more to me, but then um, I fast because Allah has prescribed um, some for also. Um, my name means um, the successful, or you can say um, the victorious. Um, the name of the governor of Ogun State is. Um, I hope it's not, it's uh, maybe Kunle Amosu. Oh no, he has gone out, there's a new cough. No, I knew his name. It has escaped. Um, I think the slogan for Ogun State is um, found in that song. Um, Isheya, Isheya, Omo Ogun, Isheya, um, Isheya, Isheya, Maya, Wala, Tishi, yes, that song. Um, 
try to um, try to kafir. Now I come to Labrika too. I am Abdul Hadi Faiz, and I was just on the Big IQ show. <laughs> platform that offers easy, accessible, and affordable travel solutions for Muslim pilgrims. Get started today by visiting yala.ng or download the Yala mobile app on the Google Play Store. Yala, Hajj and Umrah, the easy way.